Hi there again, Dawn from Dawn's Earthly Delights and Wildcrafted Botanicals. We are going to talk about compost tea, also laughingly referred to as PT. So compost tea, it's actually very easy to make. And in this bucket, so this bucket I actually have composted down steer manure. Now I actually bought this because unfortunately I, I didn't have time to go to one of the neighbor's places and muck out their, their barn. So this is basically broke down composted steer manure. It's really good, hardy, rich. Look at that, very nice, crumbly. Great addition to any garden. This here is your basic run-of-the-mill compost tea. Now get a good look at that because it's gross. <laughs> and there is a reason for that. So, so for a proper garden, if you really want good growth and you really want to get into the nitty gritty of this, what you need is your carbon to nitrogen ratio and that helps plant life production. So carbon is also known as brown compost and green compost is the nitrogen rich compost, also known as green manure. So brown manure or brown compost, green compost. So the brown brings in the carbon. It's, it, it's composed of dead materials, so wood chips, leaves, steer manure, all that stuff produces a carbon rich environment. The green manure, however, comes from your still alive green wet materials that, um, excuse me, that actually produces the nitrogen that your, that your plants need. So this, I'm gonna stir it up and you're gonna see, this is the plant material, right? And this time, and I play around with my compost teas every year. So this bucket I put, and it smells terrible. This bucket I put um, about, you know, a good, a quarter of the way up with the manure. And I put in about two bags of stinging nettles and you know, a good handful of comfrey leaves because that's what I had available. So I'm creating this carbon and nitrogen rich tea, All right? So you fill your bucket full and as you can see, I've been using it because the water line's gone down and this is a five gallon bucket. So you're gonna fill it up to about yay big. You're also going to leave the lid on it. And why you're gonna do that is because if you don't, then all the nitrogen out of this bucket is just going to go back up into the air. So plants that need carbon, nitrogen materials are any kind of garden when you really wanna prep it and get it ready. Corn needs a higher nitrogen component, so that's why you would use this tea, especially when you get your corn first in the ground. And then I companion plant my corn. With, um, with pole beans, also known as climbing beans. They actually take nitrogen from the air itself, bring it down through the root system and fix it to the ground and then the corn gets to, gets to eat that or gets to take that up into its nutrient system as well. So this is your basic compost tea. I do teach classes every third Saturday. I'm getting classes going. The next one would be on July 15th. I will give um, more of a ratio, so a 30 to 1% ratio, I would explain, I will go into more detail and the nerdy effects of this, of what you need to make a really good compost tea. But I wanted to just give you a basic idea and instruction of how to make just a really quick one and then you can play with the ratios yourself. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.